everybody, and welcome back to the Dodger's Port for this weekend battle. Now, as most people know, I'm primarily a cruiser player, and this looks like a really big cruiser. Clearly not, it's a battleship, but in this battle, I'm going to show you how I tend to play battleships as though they're just large, heavy cruisers. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into the battle, and I'll see you there. Here we are then, on the Solomon Islands map with a Cap the Flag style battle, my favourite on this map, much prefer it to where we have the A, B and C cap zones, especially when I'm in a slow moving ship like a battleship, this one being the tier 3 Japanese battleship, the Kawachi. One good thing about this battleship is that it has guns both port and starboard. Now you might think that's a disadvantage because it means you can't bring all of your guns to bear at once, that's true, however if you suddenly need to do a sharpish turn, and I say sharpish in a battleship, it means that you're going to have two of your guns at least ready to fire after you've turned. It also means if you get caught in a pincer movement and you're quick enough, you can actually fire guns port and then switch your camera and fire starboard. Useful in a battleship. Now, I don't play many battleships as you know from my uh, videos so far, and that's because I like a ship that's able to be more impactful, something that can move between zones and, and be where the action is and be where it's needed most whereas a battleship if you get out of position you can really be in trouble in a slow moving ship like this I mean look at the full speed here just over 20 knots holy cow this map however pretty good for that I'm gonna get a lot of people who come through the center trying to cap our zone and I can sit here and be a right pain in the uh, bottom to them all now you'll notice I've loaded up my armor piercing shells now that's going to be a problem if the things I come up against first are destroyers, but as you can see from the map, the destroyers seem to be going around the edges of the map. So actually armor piercing is a really good bet, because what I should be facing mainly are cruisers, and they definitely don't want armor piercing shells firing at them. So there's the first cruiser I can see. Now here's the thing with battleships, with a slow reload time, at what point do you fire? Do we fire at this guy? He's preventing a very small profile. And as you'll see later in this battle, the shells on this ship can be a bit... Ugh, and that's a technical term. But him, however, now he's a much juicier target. Sailing not quite side on, but close enough. And there we go. 9,700 damage and a citadel. Would we have done that if we'd fired at the first cruiser that came within sight? Absolutely not. You've got to pick your targets in battleships. Don't just fire at the first thing you see once your shells are available. Find a target that you're going to really hurt. Now, is he going to carry on? Yes, he is. Could we let someone else sink him? Yeah, we could, but you know what? Let's get rid of him. There's nobody else really immediately I can fire at anyway. It looks like we're definitely being pressed very hard from the eastern flank. Only got one other ship over there, and that's another battleship. Whereas they've got two cruisers in a battleship heading round. So that's where the battle needs to be fought at the moment. Otherwise, they're going to overwhelm us, they're going to come around behind, start capping, and start firing at us from behind. Neither of those are good options. What is a good option is this guy, who is absolutely side on. And as I fire, I realise he's moving quite slowly. But we citadel him again. That's two salvos, two citadels. Another 8,900 damage. Let's put the other battleship between me and them for a brief second. And now we can get our secondaries going. Got to be very careful here though of torpedoes, the bane of battleships. He's just turned to move away slightly. Okay. We're over penning, not a surprise probably too close there. Could have switched to high explosive, but in general, this battle's probably going to be a good idea to stick with mainly armor piercing, looking at where everyone is. So what we'll do is we'll actually move slightly away from him. That should result in less overpenning on the next salvo. Oh, there we go. Another citadel and absolutely toasted. Now we've got a battleship coming around there, just checking the centre. Yes, there is a cruiser coming through the middle, but battleship and a cruiser here now. You can see this was definitely the place to come. I didn't want these things 
getting around behind us because the other battleship that was over here is now pushing the centre so we're effectively holding this flank on our own now so as he comes around the corner we say Merry Christmas slightly early and we put another 8,000 damage into a ship and that's not even a citadel and this is what I was saying earlier about the advantage of having guns the other side because my guns are still reloading but we're already in a position where we can fire at this battleship with the guns that were already pointing in this direction there we go another big chunk of health gone we're going to angle slightly away because we don't really want him doing a, a ton of damage to us if he hits us uh, amidships looking at the cruiser that's heading to the middle as well and we are basically the only ship defending our cap zone at the moment but you know what that's not a bad thing it means we're right in the battle at the heart of the battle and making all the difference if we'd gone through the middle here they're now capping we'd have to try and run back we're too slow we wouldn't get back we'd, we'd have lost this battle 100% Look at the situation. I mean, we're still ships down. We've only got one cruiser in the battle, and he's pretty much in their cap zone. So there's going to be nobody going to have been able to get back to defend. So don't rush forward, folks. If there's nobody else defending your cap zone, why not stay and defend it? Especially in a big, slow-moving battleship. Causing this guy all kinds of problems. I'd say I'm surprised he hasn't turned his guns on me by now. He's uh, been focusing on the battleship that was running through the center. All I'm getting on me at the minute are secondaries. Not got a lot of health left. Now he's got even less health left. Okay, that's okay. Battleship down. And again, same thing as before. We can turn and immediately bring the guns on the opposite side of the ship to bear. Overpend him, as I would have thought, but stop the cap. The problem we've got here is at this range we are going to be doing quite a lot of overpenetration. However, it's worth sticking with AP for now, just because it gives us a good shot at getting a citadel, which will just finish him off. Secondaries are going to light him up, but there will probably be torpedoes in our immediate future. So let's start and turn. Because then we can either turn back if the torpedoes are heading towards our aft section, or we can complete the turn if they're coming directly towards us. Looks like we avoided torpedo action there, that's good. But you can see I now have a cruiser to my port and a cruiser to my starboard. Luckily this guy's got pretty low health. Here's a torpedo. We can turn, we can turn. There we go. Thank you very much. Now let me invite the question here. If I'd gone through the middle with everybody else, what would the outcome of this battle have been? It's pretty obvious. We'd have lost by now. More torpedoes. But badly aimed. Ooh, a single torpedo. Uh, the problem with getting too close to this guy, of course, is very difficult to avoid torpedoes when you're this close. But I don't think most people expect you to turn in and come this close, which is why you find his torpedoes astern of me. It looks like all of these cruisers took quite a beating in order to get to our cap zone, which makes it much easier for me. That's a Kraken, by the way. That's the, uh, that's the fifth kill. Being very careful not to run into the sinking hull because that would stop me dead in the water and give this guy an option to throw torpedoes at me while I was effectively stationary. And it's a, it's a big booming battleship battle now. We've got six battleships left. Four for us, two for them. 
Okay, slowing down. Put the brakes on. Again, got to say, slow down as well as turn with torpedoes. And it's a six sinking win. So there we go then. A comfortable win in the end, although at times it didn't look like that was necessarily going to be the case. What did we learn from that battle in this pretty sluggish tier 3 battleship? Well, don't try and be too expansive in your positioning. Pick a position and hold it. And hold it. And hold it. And that really worked by playing this ship, as we said in the port at the beginning, like a big heavy cruiser rather than a battleship. It allowed us to do some real damage to people and be really, really effective. They'll never be my favourite ships to play battleships, but if you play them more like a heavy cruiser like I do, maybe you'll have a little bit more fun with them. If they're not for you, I totally get that. If they're 100% your bag, I get that too. It's a game. The important thing is, have fun with them. I hope you enjoyed that departure from my cruiser playing battles, and I hope you all have a really good weekend. More videos coming over this weekend, and I'll see you when we get to those. Until then, bye-bye.